Hey guys, what's up? Multi PSR Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a very fun video. We're reviewing two mods, uh, and you guys might be familiar with the mod or the mod creator Hedox. Uh, hopefully, I said that name right. Or Hedox. Um, I apologize. I probably butchered your name so wrong. Yeah, but we're back. I, I I have the mod creator right here. Well, not the actual one. It's just a custom NPC. But anyways, this is a very exciting mod. Uh, as you can see, there's like billions of NPCs around here. Um, I don't. I haven't spawned every single one of them, but probably about maybe 90% of them. Uh, and there's just so many. So what this mod is called is called Ninja Entities. So I I believe it's Ninja Entities. Like. N I N J I N E N. You get the point. I'll have the link down below. If you guys remember the mod I reviewed where you were able to make a bio android race, that is the same creator. He went ahead and, well, he made this, a, a, I think, a little while ago, um, but he updated it so it has lots of new NPCs, as you guys can see. NPCs from movies and and the anime. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it's, it's updated to Super, as you can tell by the Super Broly. It's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and show off some of the NPCs. Um, and and kind of say that there's so many that it actually is lagging my game with some of the R's. Which I think the R part is the coolest thing. And personally, where, where is, where is this one's my favorite. Super Saiyan Rose, uh, Goku Black. I love this R on him. It's like so smooth. It's like the Ultra Instinct R in, in a sense. Uh, I just love that one so much. But then, then we got the other R's. I liked Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken. I was so interested to see how he was able to do that. Especially with Super Saiyan God. There's just so many things to go through. So, uh, with this mod, he also included new sagas with it. So, let me just read what, you, what he told me in the DM. Uh, it's a mod that literally adds hundreds of NPCs, like I was saying. A custom main saga and a movie saga. The NPCs use DBC AI. And they also use key attacks, which they can also fly, which hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some of that very sh uh, soon. Um, and the NPCs use DBCR, or I, I, like I said, they fly and they have key attacks. Um, and each of them has their own set of key attacks. I'm not sure what he means by each of them. I mean, obviously he means like each NPC, but like, is there a custom key attack that he made for them? Or is it just like a, a different color? Um... So, uh, and then also them, they have R's like you see cheer and full power cheer, and I believe this is his full power cheer or something like that. Um, and then I showed you guys the Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Rose, and all these R's uh, on these guys. It's just, it's really freaking cool to see uh, just all the NPCs. Like I, I was saying, like I said, I didn't spawn all the NPCs. I just spawned two or three Vegetas. There's more of them. I can show you guys them. Um, but with like the Super Saiyan R, it's got some lightning effects with it. You might be able to see. I just think that looks amazing. And then the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution R, just beautiful. Um, and then the, the saga that I've added, I'll try to show you guys how to do that. Uh, goes from when Goku started as a kid all the way up to, I believe, the Broly movie. Um, and then the movie saga goes from Garlic Jr. to I I don't know how to say it, this person or this character's name. Uh, Hyrule, oh gosh, it's so hard. I'm just gonna call him Hyrule Garn. I, I'm not sure if that's correct, uh, but yeah. So another mod that I also added that he created is called Ninja Knockbacks. So what he said is this one is simply adds proportional knockback. So weak enemies want to be able to uh, knockback uh, you at all or damage you, but if you punch them, you can send them flying, which I'm kind of interested in seeing and then vice versa so if it's a strong enemy they'll probably send you flying uh, this mod adds the ability for you to punch back weak mobs when charging key is that a thing I really want to see that now and uh, yeah so I really want to show you guys this off I just I just have all or not all of them but most of the NPCs down as you guys can see or are able to see some of them just showcasing them uh, I didn't like I said I didn't get every single one of them but a good majority of them uh, so they look really cool and, I, and like I said I apologize that there's a little probably a little bit of lag going on with the video but there's just so many NPCs and the R's just take up so much GPU I guess it's just it's crazy um, 
So yeah, I, I really like some of that base used, especially this one. I don't even know what this one is. But it looks kind of funny, but it's cool. Uh, and then we just got Oz, uh, Ozru, any any type of Ozru, just in general. Uh, we got Krillin. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Baba, of course. Uh, and yeah. So it's pretty freaking cool. I really like the Broly. I haven't seen this Broly yet. Looks cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into the knockback stuff. Alright, so for the first mob, we're going to try one of the weaker mobs. So let's go ahead and see which mob. And I just want to show you guys how many NPCs there are. So we'll go down wherever it is. Ninja starting. It's like so many NPCs. It's crazy. Still going. And almost there. And we made it to the very end. It's crazy. Alright, let's try... Let's try a weak mob. Let's just spawn Yamcha. Alright, Yamcha didn't want to spawn. Just kidding. Oh, it's probably because we're in the safe zone. Alright, I got Yamcha to spawn. He's kind of just walking around, though. So let's see if I can fight him. Is he going to fight me? Alright, so I'm going to punch him. Oh, shut up. He blasted at me. Luckily, he does no damage to me. Alright, so as you can see right there, I started charging up a little bit. And it knocked him back. And as you can see, he's trying to punch me. But he literally can't do anything because he's so weak. So let me charge up real quick. Yeah! So as you can see, if I charge up a little bit, he just gets knocked back. Oh. So I think it's awesome. So if I just put turbo on, does he get knocked back a little bit? A little bit. Alright, let's see this knockback on him. Yeah. Oh. And I got his chest plate. Cool. Alright, so that is that is some cool knockback. Uh, let's try it on someone stronger. Let's try it on Goku. Let's screw it. Goku UI. Alright. So do I knock him back? No, he's just so powerful. And even when I charge it up, I'm going to see knockback. Alright, so I do knock him back a little bit. I do quite a bit of damage. Let's see if he knocks me back. He does knock me back a little bit, actually. Oh, and he's even got some... Uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot they could fly. He's got the UI effect where he can teleport around us. Let's see if he dodges my attacks. I think he's about to get his face kicked in, though. Yeah, that's a rip. I'm going to throw on your shoes, Goku. But GG. Alright, so that's some of the knockback. I think that's so cool. Let's see, who else should we try to fight real quick? I'm, I'm actually having fun. Uh, let's try, I want to fight Broly. I want to fight Super Broly, Super Saiyan Broly. Is this one? Yeah. Alright, how much damage do you, you do? Quite a bit of damage. Do I knock back at all? I kind of want to see what... Oh, I teleported. What, uh, what kind of key left is Alright, just a small green one. Alright, let's see. Let's see how much damage I do then. Oh, dang. Alright, we're doing a decent amount of damage. And just to show you, I only have my stats at level 10,000. One thing that I'm curious... Oh, that was cool. One thing I'm curious about is if you're able to change some of the health of the NPCs in, like, config. I don't know if there's a config yet. Uh, which, that would be so cool if you can. Uh, so, maybe that's in the future if that's... Oh my gosh, it was huge. Maybe if that's not a thing yet. That was a big blast. Alright, let's fly and see how long, how, how how far he chases us for. I just want to see if he despawns or anything. Is he chasing us? I can't really tell. He's definitely shooting at us, so he definitely sees us. I don't know if he chases us. Oh my goodness, I was big. Missed me, though. Alright, let's see. Does he come any closer? Alright, so it seems like you have to be in kind of a little bit of a range for him to chase you. I can't really hit him. Key blast kind of hurt, and oh, there we go. Let's let's just go back down. Let's just kick the butt. Uh, all right, so Broly, I'm sorry, I'm gonna kick the butt. I know you're, you're good, kind of, but you're just a little angry. Throw on that Yamcha shirt; it might help you a little bit. All right, boom. Oh, I didn't even realize this was the thing. Battle armor leggings. Nah, I look like Broly. All right, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, that is the knockback, as I was showing you guys. Um, holy lag. Now, I want to try something with the story mode. Alright, so as you can see, I have the new story modes in. And right now, I'm going to show you how to put the story mode in. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to the link down below that I have uh, in the description to download all the mods. Uh, and you'll find one of the links brings you to a uh, saga file. You're going to want to download that and then unzip it. Once you unzip it... Oh, that, that was a voice crack. That was, Okay, that's okay. Once you unzip it... You'll see some folders. Hopefully, I don't dox myself. Okay, that's not hard. Okay. Um, you'll see a folder, and let me just go to saves. I'll just show you. You'll see a folder called. Not that. 
you'll see a folder called saga files as you can see right here it's highlighted so if you open up the saga files it has the config so what i recommend is uh right click copy the config and go ahead and throw it into your config all you got to do is just right click and paste and then overwrite uh, the current config so you have the, his config that he created just for the sagas and whatnot and then go back to where you have the saga files area and you're going to see an english version and a french version whichever language you want to use is fine so with the english version what you want to do is go to the normal one to be honest i don't really know what tps means i just go to normal and then you're going to want to highlight them and then copy them and then go to the world uh, the saves folder in your dot minecraft or dot technic whatever you're using go to your saves find the world that you're using mine is called ninja and then you're going to want to go to data and then missions and then all you're going to want to do is right click and then paste it in there as you can see i have this one and this one they were this one is new and then the main dvc was overwritten and then main nc not sure what that means but just leave it in there it's already in there uh, and that's how you get it in there all right, so now that we've started, uh, as you can see, is Ninja to the Saga System DB1. This is an alternative story based on the Dragon Ball universe. So it might resemble parts of the original story, but it's completely different because this is your story. All right, here we go. Boom. Feel a pleasant surprise. Look out, a bandit with a sword is threatening you. Now, that's not normally in the, the, DBC, the DBC mod. This is the first mission that should spawn a bandit uh and he's not here that's awkward all right we're just gonna try it over here so let's do this again start there he is there's the bandit right there spawn event if you guys remember the bear bandit from the first one when i was currently working or not currently oh jeez, i didn't mean to punch him that far away uh when i was working on final stand this is oh that zombie went flying when i was working on the final stand server this is some of the stuff that i was inheriting into my server uh granted i have sh shut all that down so I think it would have been really fun, uh, and I'm so happy that he's created this. Uh, it's just so cool. And then, look out, a bandit with the sword is driving you next. And then, we're supposed to kill Goku. You meet the wild child with the tail who seems to want to fight. So we're going to have to fight Kid Goku and say, hey, I'm Son Goku, you look strong, fight me. Let's just knock him back with our key. <laughs> he went flying. Alright, and then, uh, just, just yawn on him. You are very strong. Oh, we got a power pull from it. Cool. Uh, we should train together later. Uh, next, you want to meet a child who seems to want to fight. All right, so we got to... Wait, where do we have to go? All right, so we got to kill Yamcha. Hi, my name's Yamcha. You're very nice. Uh, kick your butt. All right, so I'm just going to skip through some of this. Oh, just kidding. If you're looking to uh, become more power, go to see Turtle Hermit. He's called Meet Roshi. He lives in the island, the South East Island. All right, so I guess we got to go find... Master Roshi's house. Alright, so we've made it to Master Roshi. Oh, hello there, sir. Uh, mm. I've never. I don't even know what that said. Alright, you're looking for Turtle Hermit. You found him southeast. Talk to Mutant Roshi. I can give you the full Turtle uh, School kim uh, Kimono. Kim oh, English. Kimono. But I only have one copy. And my other students have taken the bottom and. F have taken the bottom and the top. For you, it remains is only the boots. If you want to recover the rest, you have to beat out the other students. You should find them in the island nearby or on main mainland. So as you can see, that's not, I don't think that's normally in Dragon Block City. So ask Turner Hermit what you have for training. Uh, kill Krillin. All right, Krillin. And as you see, we got a little kid Krillin here. Just going to punch him out of there. We get lots of boots for them, that's for sure. All right, so Krillin is a student. Boom. Kill Goku. So Goku's getting a little bit stronger. Alright, so I've made it. I was just jumping through the whole saga. I made it to Dragon Ball Z saga. We're starting Raditz. As you can see, there's lots of stuff everywhere. And it's going to have you go talk to lots of stuff. Or lots of... It's it, it's cool. It's going to have you go talk to different NPCs. It's going to have you kill different NPCs. And I think it's just a great thing that uh, Hedox made for this. And I'm really excited. One other thing that I wanted to show you guys was the side quests so with the side quest it's the movie saga so you can do dragon block c movie sagas you can see side saga that is alternative story so authors hedox finn the human and jake the dog and repeatable every one minute uh like the main saga this is an alternative to the original story from the movies just for more fun for starting the saga you should make sure that you at least above raditz all right so we're able to do that and uh, let's do next and then it tells you the whole 
uh, I guess, synopsis of what's happening, and then it's going to tell you to kill Ginger, Nikki, and, and Sancho. So let's go ahead and spawn them in. So, so, so we just kicked all their freaking butts, and boom. Side Saga, Dragon Box Z movies, next. And we were able to defeat that one, little stupid Garlic Jr. Boom. So, lots of very fun stuff to do. And I think this makes uh, playing single player a, a lot more fun in a sense. And just to, just to show you guys how many mobs there are. There is an incredible amount of NPCs that they made for this. And I just want to say props to you guys for taking the time to do this for the DBC community. I think it's going to be... I think it's amazing that you guys have done this. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. Uh, it's just so cool to see all this. So let me fly back over here and just show you all the NPCs. Well, not all of them. A good majority of them. Uh, it's just... That's crazy. Look at all these NPCs, guys. So I just want to give a big thanks to you guys for creating them. I think the community is definitely going to enjoy them. Especially when they're um, playing single player. They can do some series. I don't know. I was thinking about maybe incorporating this into something that I might be doing. Um, but we'll see. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.